Things are heating up as we head into March because, well, we're headed for Miami, people. How about that? Welcome to the World Golf Championships Cadillac Championship Preview Show. I'm Amanda Balionis here with John Swantek. The second WGC event of the season from Trump National Doral, a 7,500-yard jewel in uh, South Florida's golf portfolio since 1962. And it's playing host to 48 of the top 50 in the official World Golf Rankings this week. That's right. For the first time since the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola, all top five players in the official World Golf Rankings will be in the same event. And because groupings are based off of the World Rankings, that means that these guys are going to be stacked. We're talking Spieth, Day, and McElroy in one group, Bubba, Ricky, and Stenson in another. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> I know you didn't. Other notables in the field? Well, they're all notables in a World Golf Championship. You got Dustin Johnson, who's defending this week. Justin Rose is there. He's a past winner at Doral. Mickelson, Garcia, and of course, Adam Scott, who won last week to start the Florida Swing at the Honda Classic. The field of 66 players scheduled to compete represents 20 countries, including the U.S., with more than three dozen international competitors. Not making the trip among the top 50, Jim Furyk, still nursing the wrist after surgery, and Tong Chai Jaidi of Thailand, out with an illness this week. So the field is huge, but this course, it's a monster, a blue monster. See what I did there? With okay, you. all right, you're with me, especially after Jim McLean redesigned the course back in 2000. He made it tougher, much longer, and also more dramatic. And then Gil Hahn stepped in in 2013-2014 to re-sculpt every hole. We're talking deep Bermuda rough, a number of challenging water hazards, and of course that infamous 18th hole. Oh, it is nasty. The finishing hole known as one of the toughest on tour every single year. It creates a ton of drama down the stretch. How hard is it? Well, the 18th has given up 30, 30 triple bogeys or more in the past nine years. But don't take our word for it. We'll let the top players in the world explain. It's a tough hole. Everyone's got to play it. But if, if I can keep my ball dry, um, you know, then I think I, throughout the entire hole, I think I did pretty well on it. It's incredibly tough. The redesign has been uh, challenging. It really is living up to its billing as the Blue Monster. You know, seeing that water the whole way, the tee shot, the second shot, the whole hole is, is a very difficult hole. The whole round builds up to that last hole where at the start of the day, we all check the wind to see what 18, how 18's playing. So the last time we saw Bubba Watson, he was lifting a trophy at Riviera at the Northern Trust Open a few weeks ago. He then took some time off and looks to come to Doral rested, ready to go. And if you look at his track record here, pretty strong for Bubba through the years. Yeah, take a look at this. Watson has actually talked about how finishing second here is great for him because it happened in 2012 and 2014. What happened also in those years, Swan? Couple of green jackets. Couple of green jackets. So Bubba, he may be aiming for a runner-up finish here. 13 of his last 16 rounds are at par or better at Doral. It's a tough course, so that is a pretty solid record. All right, it is that time. Neither one of us were successful with our picks for Honda Classic, actually not even really close at all. So it's time for redemption. Who you got? You go first. I'm going to let you go first. Okay. We'll change it. We'll change first. it up and hope for some different luck this week. I'm going to go with Ricky Fowler. I know he kind of really fell apart towards the end over the weekend at PGA National, but he is just playing too well right now to not step into the winner's circle once again. Remember, he lost in that playoff in Phoenix and then led the way halfway through the tournament last week at Honda. I think he's going to come in here hungry, ready to go on a big stage. They've made some tweaks to Doral, but it still favors a long hitter. I like Henrik Stenson. We haven't seen a lot of him in the U.S. this year. This was a guy who finished second, second, tenth, and second in the FedEx Cup playoffs last year. Fourth at Doral in 2015. He's a world golf champion. He's a player's champion. He has the pedigree. He's the sixth ranked player in the world. I think Stenson's going to be a tough out this week. I hope one of us is right because people are going to stop listening to these picks <laughs> no. if it continues in the same direction. All right, check out where you can find wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the second WGC of the season. Swan, tell them where the people can find it. Got the PGA Tour live crew cranked up and ready to go Thursday beginning at 9.30 Eastern time with a little pregame show. We'll set the table and then bring you the live action starting at 11 Eastern on Thursday morning. Golf Channel and NBC also. Television coverage Thursday through Sunday. And of course, PGA Tour Radio has the live call. Play-by-play -play coverage airs on Sirius XM and streams live at PGATour.com.